I'll start immediately with a question. I'll start with uh, Bernard Cassin. The question is, what's wrong with Europe? What suddenly happened that Europe doesn't work? <clears throat> Obviously, there is something wrong. The problem is to, to try to locate where it is wrong. I'll ask myself and I'll ask yourself a few questions because I have no, not the answers to all of them. First thing is, what is it to be a European? And, uh, for example, does a Spaniard feel closer to uh, uh, um, Lithuanian, for example, than to an Argentina? It's, it's a question. Or do we feel closer to North Africa when we are in the southern part of Europe than closer to Poland? So, uh, the, there are volumes of books, uh, of libraries, uh, which deal with this, uh, the fact, what is it to be a European? Is it uh, common values, but if freedom, etc., but the, we have that, those values in common with other parts of the world? Uh, and in any case, the, how does our Europeanity reflect on the institutions of the EU? Is Europe the same thing as the EU or not? Et That's a, f a f first series of questions. The second thing I want to, to stress is that for the first time in 60 years, national politics, European politics, have burst, have broken into the national sphere. For a long time, what we call the European construction was done far away, was regarded as something foreign, and even in the structure of the ministries, uh, in France in particular, but I suppose it's very much the same elsewhere, the Ministry of European Affairs is situated within the Ministry of international affairs, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So Europe seems to be part of foreign affairs, which is not the case. For the first time, we have seen that, um, that the decisions taken at European level uh, uh, erupt into the national sphere. Uh, th those you have mentioned, what, what's happening in Greece, in Spain, Portugal, is a matter not only for these particular countries, but for the whole of Europe and vice versa. Vice versa, the decisions taken in Brussels impact on the national, on national politics. Another key point for me is democracy. Someone said, it was an Englishman that, I don't remember who it was, said that if the European Union was a candidate to membership of the European Union, it would be refused because it doesn't it, it doesn't meet the conditions to be a member, for Croatia, for example, to be a member of the European Union. I will not <coughs> make a lecture about the institutions, but uh, if there is a question and answer period, we'll answer that. But, so we have, to, to sum it up, we have de representative democracy at national level with diminished powers, and we have no democracy at European level with considerable powers. And as to the question of identity, uh, I think one curious thing is the banknotes, the euro banknotes. Well, you, you probably have that in a, in a, few, a few months or years. <laughs> but ha have you looked closely at them? They are completely outside the real world. They, they, they are not European. You have bridges, you have doors which open onto nothing. Uh, completely, uh, there are no European figures, and we. It's true that we have lots of them in, in our history, in the art, in the music, and literature, etc. So this, this is an, an excellent symbol of a, a Europe which has no identity, which doesn't claim its, its part in the history of Europe. We, of course, we have different histories. This is perhaps why uh, it was difficult to, to, to single out some Victor Hugo, Beethoven, Mozart, uh, Dante, etc. But we have a sort of a symbolic representation of the technocratic functioning of the uh, EU. And to, to finish, I would say that 
the, the question, what is it to be a European? Does Europe exist? What is absolutely sure is that European networks existed and for the elites and continue existing. We are part of it. We, but uh, you, you have the example of the Republic of Letters, of the Enlightenment, you have the trade fairs, and the abbeys. There are plenty of networks from the Middle Ages onward. But Europe has failed to go down into the peoples. The, you have a Europe of the elites, and we are part of these elites. But uh, we, uh, these elites have had a little grasp on the peoples, on the nations. And Europe has, has systematically tried to dismantle the, the national polity, uh, but to but not replaced it by a European polity which remains to be constructed. 